It's All You Can Vegas. Hey everybody, it's Derek, and in today's video, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace. Where is it? How much is it? What is it? Well, you know what it is. It's the biggest, baddest buffet in Las Vegas. Over 500 items from dim sum to dessert are on the Bacchanal Buffet. And it's all yours to eat as much of as you like. Of course, that comes at a price. So what's the price? Well, it's complicated. First, let's start with where it is. The Bacchanal is at Caesars Palace, right there at the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo. To get to the buffet, you walk as far back into Caesars Palace as you can towards the pool. And you'll see the entrance right across from Beijing Noodle No. 9, Rayo's, and Pronto by Giada. The Bacchanal Buffet is open at 7.30 a.m. Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. on the weekend, and until 10 p.m. every night. They serve breakfast, lunch, and dinner, but they roll breakfast and lunch into something called brunch. So you'll get breakfast and lunch foods until 3 p.m., and then comes dinner. That's when all the seafood comes out. So if you're a seafood lover, you better come for dinner. But if you're a meat lover or a sweets lover or a lover of just about anything and everything, there is plenty to eat before three. So how much is it? All right, let's get to the price. Brunch on the weekdays starts at 7.30 a.m., goes to 3 p.m. It's Monday through Friday, and it's $39.99. Weekday dinner, which is Monday through Thursday, goes until 10 p.m., and it's $54.99. Friday's dinner is considered the weekend, and the weekend dinner is $59.99. Friday through Sunday, and weekend brunch on Saturdays and Sundays is $49.99. There are a few upgrades as well that you can add on to your lunch or dinner. The All You Care to Drink package is $15 and it gives you unlimited draft beer, house wine, and mimosas. And for $18 you get a souvenir glass. There's the Buffet of Buffets upgrade. Now the Buffet of Buffets is a deal offered by Caesars that provides unlimited 24-hour access to all their buffets. That's Caesars, Harrah's, Rio, Flamingo, Paris, and Planet Hollywood. But while that pass costs in the $60 to $75 range, you have to spend an extra $25 to $35 to add on the Bacchanal. And there's the Express Pass. Now this is an option that's not always available, but it is when there's a long line, which is pretty frequent at the Bacchanal Buffet. The Express Passes you can purchase at the kiosks for $25 to $55, depending on when you're there, but it will get you into the Bacchanal right away. So the pricing can get a bit complicated, and it can certainly add up. So you might be asking, well, what's the best time to go to the Bacchanal Buffet at Caesars Palace? In my opinion, the best time to go to the Bacchanal is during the week, just before dinner. Dinner starts at 3, so I'd suggest trying to get into the buffet about 2 o'clock. The key here is that there shouldn't be much of a line, certainly not compared to the massive hours and hours long lines that can wind all throughout Caesars Palace on the weekends. That way you don't have to pay for an express pass and you're there practically in time for dinner. You've got about an hour to eat the brunch foods, of which there are plenty, and you'll still have space for dinner because that's when the real pricey food comes out, mostly all the seafood. Now this also brings up the question of the two-hour time limit. On your receipt, every receipt that everybody gets at the Bacchanal, it says, please limit your dining experience to two hours. Now that doesn't sound too threatening to me, but 
I've been asked many times, do they enforce this? Do they throw you out? Is there someone monitoring you? Is there a watchful eye on your table from the security cameras overhead that are counting down on you like a timer about to go off? Well, I'm happy to say that I have never seen anyone thrown out of the Bacchanal buffet, and I have never been thrown out, but it is a policy written right on every receipt. So I wouldn't push it by staying like eight hours. And I certainly wouldn't bring backpacks and Tupperware to try to smuggle out some crab legs or red velvet pancakes. But that's another discussion up for debate. So let me know what you think about taking food from a buffet. Personally, I'm against it. Now, as you can see, there is plenty of amazing food to eat here at the Bacchanal Buffet. From sushi to pizza to crab legs, there is literally something for everyone, even kids, who, by the way, under four are free. So what about those crab legs? I know everybody loves crab legs. Well, not everybody, because I'm not a huge fan, but maybe maybe I have an allergy or something because everybody else seems to love crab legs. And if there's one place to get crab legs, it's a Las Vegas buffet, especially the Bacchanal. During dinner, the buffet serves Dungeness crab, Jonah crab claws and clusters, snow crab legs, and even king crab legs. Now, they're Hard to find. I've never actually seen them myself. But according to a representative of the Bacchanal, there are king crab legs available during weekday dinners and all day on the weekends. So you may have to hunt and fight for them, but they're there. Now, while there is a mind-bogglingly large amount of high-quality meat, seafood, and every other kind of food on this buffet... Maybe you don't like seafood so much. Maybe you don't like meat so much. Maybe you're a vegetarian. Now, in that case, I have to say that the Bacchanal is going to be a bit of a challenge. To get your money's worth, I'd say. But it is doable. In fact, I ate at the Bacchanal as a vegetarian. And you can see everything I ate in the video linked at the top of your screen. Just click that icon to go to the card that links to my video on how to eat vegetarian at the Bacchanal Buffet. Now, eating vegetarian on a buffet like the Bacchanal may seem a little insane, but I like to think of it as maximizing the potential of what buffets are all about. Because when it comes right down to it, buffets are about choice. What you like and what you choose to eat. You can pick what you like, ignore what you don't, try something you've never tried, maybe find a new favorite or a new food to hate. The Bacchanal Buffet may be the most expensive buffet in Las Vegas. Now I mean a buffet that's open every day, morning till evening, not including, of course, the $110 Bally's Sterling Brunch, which is only on Sundays. But the Bacchanal is certainly pushing it once you combine all those potential add-ons and fees and taxes, of course. But I say it's worth it. It's the biggest buffet in Vegas and the best. I'd rank the Wicked Spoon at Cosmopolitan, a very close second, and the Wind Buffet, a somewhat distant third. But they're all amazing dining experiences to eat your way through for just one price. However high that price may be. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about the Bacchanal Buffet. And be sure to subscribe for more, because there's always more to eat when it's all you can Vegas.